This video is brought to you by... Those pajamas. Ah! <laughs> the real gentleman, yo. $13. $13! This knife is $13 and has $10.95 still. I mean, we couldn't believe that a knife like this could exist. Being introduced in 1924, is this 100 year old knife model the ultimate budget knife? Well, it just might be. But first, this episode is also brought to you by DPK. You know, dpkshop.com. We got a DPK shop where we sell strops, compound coins, but now also stickers made and designed by Amanda and Marty's girlfriend Priscilla. So please, if you're done visiting Tools for Gents, take a cheeky peek in our webshop, dbkshop.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Touch the Booth Craft Knives. Oh no, this video will start racist. Is that Why? what we're doing? What, what accent am I doing? Oh, Ontario Old Hickory Knives. This is like. The origin of bushcraft. This is what the pioneers used when they first entered beaver territory. And this is the big one, the other one is a small one. Well, this is a butcher's knife, but this knife was used for bushcraft. So this is kind of origin bushcraft. Feather sticking, 5 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's not the best start. It might be how it's sharpened, because to be honest, it did not really seem to come that sharp, especially compared to a Mora from around the same price range, or maybe even cheaper. But sharpness is pretty relative, because it could shave a little bit, and that is sharp. Yeah. So, while we're already doing the batoning, feather sticking and stuff at this time, is this part of the video, is that we need a fire as quick as possible. Because we are going to recreate the dish that we did in the... This is very wet. Some years ago, there was actually a whole chicken in a Dutch oven with orange slices and potatoes and stuff. It takes three hours. It's a really thin knife, so it's not really a batoner. But the length... It's probably bi bigger than the logs that you ever want to use with this. A skinny legend. Thin. Too thin. A little bit of rattle in the handle. Now already. I think just from the start. Oh. Right. Big Brain Marta was spot on here with his fat head. Because when he tried to put on a slightly bigger piece, the knife got stuck in an angle because it did not want to split the wood. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect it to do it. How's the how's the red light? I mean, you see that? I gotta say, Mickey, this is not something that you would ever expect from a knife like this to do, and it did it. How does this knife cope with a shot? Yeah, that's right. We want to see how this knife reacts to getting shot. But first, we have to make a fire for the damn meal. Which was not too nice because of the difficult feather sticking. It could also not light a fire with the spine. Nope, that's not gonna work. Gonna use that edge, I think. So, if badly heat treated or hardened too hard, this knife will break. But when being too soft, it will bend. That balance is very hard to find with the thinness of this knife. So this is very representative of what the settlers used to have. A air gun. We always used to carry air guns. Huge, we are shooting this in a controlled environment 30 meters distance on a private terrain with safety precautions taken. Don't demonetize. Still standing. There goes though. the handle. <laughs> oh yeah, it is bent. It's a good full thing though. So the steel is kind of soft. Yeah, no surprise there. Now the men are soft and the knives are hard. Bullseye! Eye. 
it's not that sharp. It's uh, kind of hard and I'm not a cook, so I don't know how to do this properly. <laughs> Stuff them in! Do it like you do with me! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> My idea was to put a little bit of garlic powder on it. Not too much because it can be overwhelming, dude. A little bit of thyme. A bit of oh, thyme. Oh, rosemary and thyme. Oh, yeah. I'm nice. gonna place it in this nice little home. Gone with that. Yeah. So, and now? This is, now we just wait like until the coals are completely burned up. It's a banana for skill. Whoa. Yeah, this is far from stainless, I can tell you that. It's already stained. Yeah, look. This is from leaving it wet for about 10 minutes. Yeah, but Mickey. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. That's bro. killing, bro. Lemon juice. Bro. Lemon juice, fuck killing, bro. I'm gonna make a figure four trap because that might have been something that the settlers would have made. There's gonna be one big difference. They made a good one, and I'm gonna make a pretty shitty one because I'm not that good of a trapper. So I'm making a figure four trap to test out carving and what I need is three sticks. The first stick I'm going to cut square. The next two sticks, well I won't explain too much for the simple fact that I just basically can't. Just watch. The second stick will hook on the square stick for the bait. If I'm right, if I'm correct, then this should hook in here, this should hook up here, that should hook right about here. Pretty low on the ground, I gotta say. <sighs> yeah, sorry, my audio stopped working here, but the problem was with this knife is that it only cuts small chunks, and if I grab my Felgneven pocket knife, it actually cuts off sticks in one go. It's just too dull. And if you made it correctly, which I probably did not, then it balances out and makes a trap. Ah! <laughs> Trap me! That part, that, that part of wood is heavier than it looks. Yeah. It's like soaked hardwood. Hey! Boom! Boom! Put bait on here, and then when an animal comes... Put bait on there. Wow. <laughs> a few hours later... I'm actually really curious about this. Yeah, and this. I am really hungry. I'm really curious to see if this worked out at all. Because oh. I feel like it wasn't that hot inside. Okay. Whoa! But that, that looks actually pretty looks, hot. <laughs> that actually looks brilliant. I mean, how hot does it need to be if to burn an orange? Yeah, ladies and gents, probably mostly gents, this was actually probably the best chicken we've ever eaten. Oh, that is so tender. That is amazingly that is so tender. tender. Oh my god. Look at this. I just take the, the wing, boom, wing. That is crazy. Oh, I think it's going to be perfect. This is a butcher's knife and <laughs> we had to cut it, but it's so tender, you have, don't have to cut anything. But 
is, you know, normally chicken can get pretty dry. This is, look at this. Whoa! Whoa! This is, this is almost not like meat anymore. Huh? So, what the hell? Ah, that's not meat. Holy shit. So, man. Oh, but that is not normal. I don't think I've ever tasted chicken like this. Those are not the last time we made it. No, but this was way longer on the fire. Let me taste a little bit of the skin. Oh, man. You know, but that's a crazy oh thing God. with a Dutch oven. You take your time, it always turns out good. Yeah. Just like the stew. What do you rate this? For chicken, for a chicken like this? Eight and a half, nine out of 10? Yeah, maybe I would say nine out of 10. I think I, nine uh, out of 10. That is crazy. All right, all right, all hey, right. Hey, I'm not even standing hey. here. People are waiting for that. Wow, Mickey, I don't want to give away. Merck, hit it. So we are giving away the Survive Knife GSO 5.1 in CPM 3V. We are giving away the Blackjack Model 125 thanks to Blade HQ. We are giving away the Boker Mini Tracker thanks to Boker. We are giving away the Falcon Neven N05 thanks to DBK. And thanks to Tools for Gents, we are giving away this knife. And thanks to VV, the Brazzer. <laughs> In my opinion, yeah. a $13 Mora is better. Definitely. That's, definitely, that's basically definitely, definitely. the conclusion. Definitely, Mickey. If you want to modify it, maybe. Yeah. Maybe if you are just into the history of this knife. Yeah. Or maybe something like reenactment or whatever. You want a knife that is literally from the times that Hudson Bay Company was doing the beaver hunts in Canada, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and I do also, I do like the design, but I think that you can make yeah. this design better. I have but this design, hiring, Martin. That but Mickey, this is, the color harvest, I think, based on this. Yeah. But the design was actually a butcher's knife. So this knife was a butcher's knife, which acted as a bushcrafting knife. Yeah. So in some ways, this is like the original bushcraft knife. What do you do to make this specific knife better? Give it a, if you buy, buy this knife, give it a sharper edge, Sharpen the spine so that it is a 90 degree spine yeah. so you can scrape fire steel. Maybe, maybe make a for it because it doesn't have one. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. And maybe put on a different handle or some Corby bolts in the handle to make it stronger. So a $30 Mora will give you a better knife yeah. with a sheath, but this one is yeah. more beautiful. Is this a bad knife for 30 no. bucks? No, no, it is 30 bucks. So that's a big plus. And I was surprised that it didn't break while shooting or with the batoning. Not cool. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let us know what other budget knife you want us to review yeah. around the 30 bucks. Hey, uh, check out the web shop because we have sticker pack, sticker pack. But what is very important is that you like this video. If you like it, not because we want it, because it's good for the algorithm. Yeah, actually because yeah. we want it, because then we can, you know, make more money. You're going away already. Look Watch at us this. every Thursday, 1 p.m. PTC. Look okay. at this, it's Muscle Hammer Guy. Look, it smells like a hammer guy, you can buy that. <laughs>